Today we're going to meet this content standard by learning how to find the area of a parallelogram by shearing. New sketch. First we're going to start by showing all of the new points we create by going to Edit Preferences and clicking on the Text tab and selecting Show Labels Automatically for All New Points. Now using the Segment tool and holding down the Shift key, we're going to create a horizontal line, AB. And using the Point tool, we're going to create Point C above Segment AB. And using the Point tool, we're going to have Point C selected and Point and segment AB. And we're going to create a parallel line by going to construct parallel line through point C. And now we are going to highlight these points and hide them by going to display hide points. And now using the segment tool we're going to create line segment DE starting on the bottom line and going up to the top line and making sure those lines are highlighted so that the point is on the line. I'm going to construct using the point tool. Point F on the line. It's highlighted. And now using the point tool we're going to select point F and segment DE and we're going to create another parallel line this time going through point F. So we're going to construct parallel line. And now we're going to create point G on the intersection of those two lines. And now we're going to construct the interior of this angle by selecting in order points D, E, G, F and construct quadrilateral interior. And from there, we are going to hide line FG, display hide parallel line, and now we're going to construct a line that is only between points F and G to make it a segment. And now we're going to select the interior and measure its area by going to measure area and we have the, the area of our parallelogram and now we're going to experiment with how the parallelogram changes as we move point E So as I move point E, the shape of the parallelogram changes, but it still maintains the figure of a parallelogram because opposite sides are still parallel. As I move points D and F, this changes the base of the parallelogram. and dragging line segments EG or DF will change the height of the parallelogram. So now we're going to construct the altitude. So selecting point E and segment DF, we are going to construct a perpendicular line and using the point tool we're going to make point H on that intersection and now using the segment tool we're going to create the segment between points E and H and using the point tool we're going to select the line and hit display hide perpendicular line. We're going to also using the segment tool create segment DF for the base. 
and with segment DF highlighted and EH, you're going to go to measure lengths. And using these two lengths, we're going to calculate the area of our parallelogram. So we're going to click segment DF times segment EH, click OK. And we see that our two areas are equal. And now we're going to write an expression using hot text. Our expression will be for area, so it will be A equals base times height. Okay, now we're going to hide the interior. And we're going to construct a diagonal from point E to point F. And we're going to construct triangle D E F. Construct triangle interior. So we're going to measure the area of this triangle by selecting the interior. I'm going to measure area. And we have the area there. And now we're going to drag point E and see that the area does not change. Because we know these two triangles are congruent, using this triangle we can write an expression to show the area of the whole parallelogram. So we are going to go to number, calculate, we're going to use this area measurement and multiply it by 2 and we get the area of the complete parallelogram. Sometimes it's easier if we don't remember the formula for um, a certain shape. We can just cut it into triangles and always remember the triangle formula and know how many triangles you cut the shape into. So now we're going to animate point E by clicking point E and going to edit action buttons animation OK, and we're going to animate point and see that the areas do not change as the parallelogram is sheared. It maintains its parallelogram figure.